There is so much packed into our state's latest budget bill, almost $28 billion to keep everything running smooth. Good evening, I'm Ben Briscoe. And I am Julie Luck. Late tonight, the bill went to Governor Roy Cooper's desk. It includes money for Toyota's battery plant, expanding broadband, water and sewer projects, even keeping the ACC headquarters in North Carolina. But one thing it does not include in the budget, Medicaid expansion, a long debated idea that lawmakers just can't seem to agree on. The state house and Senate still discussing next steps. Meantime, families statewide are caught in the middle. WFMY News 2's Ariel Cadet met a high point woman who says her daughter couldn't survive without it. In North Carolina, 600,000 people could be impacted by Medicaid expansion, including Victoria Bartleson and her family. We're all entitled to live a healthy, healthier and happier life. Bartleson is a mother of four. She tells me her youngest daughter, who's seven, is on Medicaid because when she was born, Bartleson got in a car accident that stopped her from being able to go back to work. She gets doctor well, well visits every year. Um, and those things can, you know, make sure that your child is growing healthy. And if she didn't have Medicaid, she wouldn't be going to the doctor every year. Bartleson says she was on Medicaid before she got on disability after her accident. Now that she's no longer on it, she says it's hard to keep up with the bills. As a single mom living on disability, I can't pay. I can't, I can't pay the medical bills. And then the medical bills just pile up and add on to what I already can't pay. She says sometimes money gets so tight, she has to reach out to friends and family for help. There are times when I have honestly had to make a plea on um, Facebook or a group of friends just requesting, you know, I've had a hard month this month. Um, if anyone can help us offset home costs. Bridleson sees how helpful Medicaid is for her youngest daughter and says she wishes it could help her three older kids too. We do what we can and they go to the doctor when they need to, but their bills keep them from being able to, the medical bills keep them from being able to live a healthier, happier life. Even former UNC basketball coach Roy Williams is speaking out about Medicaid expansion. He wrote an opinion piece urging the House to pass a bill that would provide coverage to more people across the state. The General Assembly plans to meet again in December to take up the possibility of expanding Medicaid.